Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a sick leave pay item in Zero Payroll. Now, before we start, I'll just point out that this video is part of a full course. So if you'd like to learn more, then check out the links in the description below. Also, I use the Australian version of Zero's demo company in this video, but you may get value out of this video if you're using a different country's version because some of the principles will still be the same. All right, before we dive into Zero. So in this video, we're going to set up a sick leave pay item, which is sometimes called personal leave or carer's leave. And there should already be one set up in your Zero file if you're using your live account for the first time, or if you're using the demo company like I am. So I'll show you how the sick leave accrual works. And there's four different methods for calculating the accrual. And then I'll show you how to set the sick leave to not be paid out uh, when the employee leaves the company or on termination, which is normally what happens. It's normally not paid out. Okay, so let's jump into zero now and we'll see how this is done. Okay, so over here in the Australian demo company, we'll just go to the main menu and settings and then payroll settings and then pay items and leave. Okay, so here in the demo company and you might have the same thing in your live zero account is we actually already have personal slash carers leave down here already set up. If you don't have it set up, you can just go to the add button and just click on paid leave and you can start setting it up from there. But we've already got it here. So we'll just click in there to have a look at it and edit it if we need to. Okay, so it's called personal slash carers leave, but it's also known as sick leave. So if you want to rename it, you can. Um, I'll just leave the name as is. And normally it's uh, accrued and paid, etc., as hours. So for type of units, you can just put in hours there. There's no leave loading rate, so we can leave that one blank. And the normal entitlement here in Australia is for two full weeks per year for a full-time employee. So that's 10 days. So if your employees work 38 hours a week, it would be 38 times two, which is 76, which is why it's got that in there. If they work for 40 hours a week, that would be 80. So two times 40 is 80. So you can put that in here if you like, you don't have to put it in there. You can see it's optional. And um, depending on how you want to calculate uh, the accrual, which I'll show you in a minute, um, you don't have to put this in here anyway. So I'll just leave it in there because it's already here and I'll click on save. Okay, so that's all you need to do to set this up. So I'll just show you how that works now. If we go over to duplicate and we'll go into payroll and employees and I'll just add a new employee. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill in the basic information here just to get things going. All right, I've just put in the basic information there. So I'll click on save. Okay, so now it takes us to the screen where we can set up all kinds of things for our new employee, but we don't need to set it all up. We can just set up a few things. So if I click on the leave tab, so this is where we would assign the sick leave or personal carers leave um, entitlement to John Smith. But at the moment it's saying we need to have a payroll calendar and ordinary earnings rates set up before we can do that. So that's done on the employment tab. So you can click on that or you can click on this button and that's taken me to the employment tab. So I'll just pop in a start date because we need that too. And then I'm going to put him on the weekly payroll calendar. And then for his ordinary earnings rate, I'm just going to choose ordinary hours and click on save. And that should be enough. We'll go back to leave. Okay, so now we can assign him some leave. So if you click on assign default leave types, zero will assign annual leave and personal carers leave down here. So it's the two there that have the hours in the entitlement. That's the two default leave types that Zero has baked into its program. So I could click on that if I want to, but I'll just click on this so we can just do the one leave type. So we're going to make that one personal carers leave. And then the next box is where we get the four different methods. So you can see there we've got fixed amount each period manually recorded rate, no calculation, 
and based on ordinary earnings. So if I click on fixed amount each period, now it's asking me how many hours are accrued annually. So that would be the same number as over here. So you can see it hasn't brought that number through. So again, if we type in 76, which would assume it's a 38 hour uh, working week. So two weeks of annual leave a year, then that's the hours that will accrue every week when we do the pay run. So 1.4575 hours. And if we do that every week, then it will come to 76 hours for the year. Again, if you work a 40 hour week, you'll need to put 80 hours in there and you can see the accrual is a little bit higher. Okay, so that's how that one works. The next one is a manually recorded rate. And for that one, you just type in the exact amount of hours that you want to accrue every time you do a pay run. So it could be 1.5342, or perhaps it's just 1.5 exactly, or it's two or whatever it may be, you just type it in there and that will be their accrual every time you run the pay run for this employee. The next one, no calculation required, there's no accrual at all. So if the person is not entitled to sick leave, then you can choose that one and they won't accrue any sick leave. And then finally, you've got based on ordinary earnings. So hours of leave accrued annually by a full-time employee. So again, that's 80 hours based on a 40 hour work week or 76 hours based on a 38 hour work week. And then down here, you need to write the hours of full-time employee works in a weekly pay period. So let's say that's 38 and it will go ahead and accrue, uh, I think it was about one and a half hours per week uh, for that employee. So again, you might put in 80 there if it's a 40 hour week and then put in 40 there and it will do the accrual for you. Just to point out, if you put nothing in there, then it will actually use the amount of hours that the employee actually works each pay period and gets put, put through their pay run. So if they've worked a big week and they've done 60 hours, you will accrue sick leave on 60 hours. So you don't want that to happen. So make sure you put a number in there. So that's hard coded in. For this, I'm going to put that back to fixed amount each period at 76 hours. So it's going to accrue 1.4575. Um, hours each week for John Smith. Now down here, you've got to select whether on termination, the unused balance is paid out or not paid out. It's customary for it to not be paid out. So just make sure you've got that selected if you don't want them to get a payout and then click on save. All right, so let's have a look at a pay run. So we'll go into pay employees and we'll need to delete this one. add a new one, add a weekly pay run. Okay, so there's John Smith. If we scroll down, there's his personal carer's leave accrual for the week, 1.4575 hours, which was that amount over there. So that's come through. Okay, so that's how you can set up a personal carer's leave or sick leave, um, leave item type in zero payroll and you can bring it through to your employees when you're setting them up and you can choose a calculation method and then you can see how it flows through to their pay runs and gets accrued every time you run the pay run.